friends in this session we are going to discuss about uh, files and uh, directories operations how to create a directory it is by using mkdir mkdir is to make directory mkdir uh, suresh this is my directory now you can check it by using ll a new directory called suresh has been created how to get into that directory you can use cd cd dash with directory name or file name or whatever cd for directory okay change directory and please note that we have one more very interesting thing in red hat linux most of the linux environment called as tab completion what is tab completion you can type the file name so there is something called as su just you can type one or two letters and hit the tab key on your keyboard automatically the very the complete file name will be typed so now i am in my suresh till now here it was showing tilde as my home directory currently right now i was there in tilde now i have entered to some other directory called suresh now let me create one more directory here called 1 2 3 4 so simultaneously you can create different different directories and number of directories like this by providing a space between them so now i have created four directories how to get into directory number 1 cd with 1 now cur my current working directory is under slash root there is one directory called suresh under suresh there is one directory called 1 currently i am working with that directory this is how to create a directory how to create a file as we discussed in our last class touch touch new f new file i have created a new file now yes there is one new file called touch how to delete this file rm rm is to remove rm new file do you want to delete this yes see now there is no file now i was i am there here under slash root under slash suresh under 1 so now i am here how to come back to suresh means how to come back one previous step from my directory structure you can use cd space double dot whenever you use cd space double dot it will take you to one step back of your directory structure now what is there i have four directories called 1 2 3 4 okay now how to remove this you can use rmdir rmdir will remove directory number 1 rmdir star what happens it will delete all the directories everything whatever the directories which are there in that directory you are pr printing present directory everything will be deleted so we have discussed we discussed uh, about mkdir and we discussed about rmdir remove directory and next we discussed about directory structure directories how to get into one directory from one directory either by using cd or by using cd dot dot and wherever you are either you are in suresh home directory or you are in somewhere you are under slash etc slash somewhere or you are in slash va or slash log you are in some other directory i mean to say you are somewhere type cd and hit enter without typing anything wherever you are your present directory uh, present working directory can be anything directly it will take you to your it will force you to go to your home directory it will automatically jump to your home directory cd without any options okay so our next command is which which ls so that means to say it will tell what is that command where it is available so there is one command called pwd this command where it is available this command is there under slash bin this command is available in this location and where is this vi where it is it is available under slash bin 
where is there is one command called vsftpd where is this which is there under slash user slash sbin slash vsftpd which will tells us the location of the command in which location under which directory that command resides okay our next command is head and tail let us open a text file for you let me create a text, a text file let me create uh, okay and i wanted to tell you one more thing there is something called as seq seq of 10 see what happens it will display sequence of 10 seq of 100 it will display the numbers from 1 to 100 now to either you can create a file by using touch this will create a blank file or you can use a editor you can use an editor called vi or nano or gedit or any other editors just like your notepad wordpad and different different kinds of editors that is one more another method or you can use the redirector operators now that means to say sequence of 100 as we know it will display the sequence of 100 numbers right now i don't want to display that on the screen instead of displaying i want to create a file i want to create a file called file let me give some other name what i can give a b c d x y z i want to create a file name called a b c d x y z this sequence of 100 will create sequence of 100 numbers i don't want to display that on the screen instead of displaying that on the screen i want to create a text file called abcdxyz and i want to send all this data i want to dump all this data onto this file okay see now cat abcdxyz what is this cat in previous class we have discussed about cat it will just display as the contents of the file okay now i want to see only top rows of that file top 15 lines bottom 15 lines of that file if you use cat it will display all the lines it will display all the lines all 100 lines but i don't want to see all 100 lines i want to few only few lines from the top what i can use i can use head head a b c d x y z it will show top 10 lines see similarly tail a b c d x y z it will show top 10 lines so we have discussed about head and tail and we have discussed about which okay and next we have bc bc <laughs> i think no need to explain about this one bc is nothing but a calculator 10 plus 10 it's just like you have calculator in your windows the similar way you have calculator here in case of your windows here we can use bc for calculator to come out of this you can use control d at any point of the time in most of the commands in most of the in most of the commands and most of the editors control d can edit or quit the application okay and next we have something called as grep so what is this grep l cat will display the contents of this file right so it will display the contents of abcd but i don't want to display the lines i want to display the lines only which are having number zero i want to display only the numbers which are having number zero or you have one text file out of you have n number of thousands of lines in the text file out of that thousands of lines from the text file you want to display a particular line which is having world called india which is having world called bangalore which is having a world called mobile number which is having a world called username or whatever something like that in that case we can use something called as grep grep means general regular expression parser it parses the text it just like it filters the text so cat a b c d x y z will display something on the screen i can use a pipe 
it is called as named pipe or pipe pipe means to say output of one command it will give some output this command can be given as input of some other command in this case suppose if you think this is a command this is a command this output will be given as input this output will be given as input of this and here it will filter grep means to say general regular expression parser, parser filter in normal english we can call it as filter cat a b c d x y z will display something on the screen don't display anything me on the screen instead of displaying take that as input for grep command and filter zero show me the lines only which are having zero right see it is showing only the lines which are having zero cat a b c d x y z grep show me anything which is having letter a no there is no letter a right whereas grep 5 show me only which is having 5 or grep 100 there is only one entry like this so grep can be used to filter the contents or file as per your requirement okay i'll tell you one more thing there are lot of files in your etc right so ls ls minus l slash etc will show lot of files see there are thousands of hundreds of files under etc whereas i want to display only one particular file what i can do ls minus l output grep that to means uh, uh, pipe that to and grep show me only the file which is having this word any word which one vsftpd show me only the there is no file called vsftpd okay so ls minus l okay sorry i, I am not there in slash etc one more best uh, method for you is go to slash etc now you are in slash etc now ls minus l will display the contents of that etc ls minus l and grep that filter that and show me only a file which is having vsftpd if that file is there it will show else it won't show so it will show that file by using this grep command you can filter the contents or data more information about this grep said and hook we'll discuss in our next advanced classes so this is about grep and next now we are going to discuss about cp cp is to copy a file cp there is one file called vsftpd sorry vsft okay there is one file which file will take let us say ls there is one file called m.conf okay now what i will do is cp copy this file onto my home directory yes it is done see ls minus l slash home slash suresha there is one file called m.conf cp is how to copy the same similarly you can use mv mv now i am in my home directory under my home directory there is one file called xyz or there is one file called abcd xyz i want to move that file cut paste move that file abcd xyz and paste that onto my desktop home suresha desktop see that file will be cutted there and it is pasted here where it is where is that file where it is pasted cd slash home okay yeah, yeah it is pasted because this is root desktop it is pasted on the desktop of the suresha user okay let me go slash home slash suresha slash desktop see abcd xyz will be there here so this is how to use mv and 
cp and we will move a file from one location to another and cp will copy a file from one location to another similarly you can use ln ln is nothing but it creates a link it creates a link ln i want to create a link it's just like shortcut in case of your windows and i want to place that link over here over i want to place that shortcut onto my desktop now this abcd xyz is a shortcut similarly you can use ln cp and mv thank you we will discuss we are going to discuss few more comments in our next session thank you